be wary of strangers in this new world. What have you been up to? One of Just wandering, really, good trying to find a place to call. Oh. And you? Jun Long said, her voice still hesitant. Do you ever watch YouTube? Jun Long blinked, her face contorting in confusion. YouTube, she repeated. What's that? She asked, genuinely puzzled. Hey, and do you have a it's moment? a website where you can get you news for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. Don't mention it. You guys have been through hell, huh? You have no idea. In these past few months, we've lost everything. My son, he's. <sighs> but you and I. In the Commonwealth, with all its struggles and dangers. The concept of online video streaming seemed like a distant, almost foreign concept. If you were to have YouTube, what would you watch? I hope you find your son. YouTube, John Long repeated again, her curiosity piggly. I suppose I could use it to learn new things, or maybe even just for entertainment. But in this world, it seems like a luxury that we can't have for. She shook her head, realizing that in the Commonwealth, survival took precedence over leisure activities. Please, just... I need to be alone right now. June, say hello to, hello to Mama Murphy. June, tell yeah, Mama Mom Murphy Mom, how you feel about how are her. You doing? June, tell Mama Murphy how you feel about her. Mama Murphy, you've been a source of comfort and hope for me ever since we met. Your visions have saved us from danger more times than I can count. Your unwavering kindness has meant the world to me. I'm grateful for your friendship, and I hope that we can continue to rely on each other as we journey through this harsh world. Hey. Mama Murphy, tell June what you think of him. John, you're a brave soul. I've seen the way you fought for those you care about, and I admire your spirit. You've been through more than most, and yet you keep going. You're a testament to the Rissel human spirit. Keep your head up, my friend. We're all in this together. Some days are harder than others. June, what do you what think about Mama Murphy just said? Mama Murphy, your kind words mean a lot to me. I know I've been through a lot, lot, but I'll keep going because I have faith that better days are ahead of us. And knowing that I have friends like you by my side gives me the strength to face whatever comes our way. Thank you. Mama Murphy and June debate politics. Ma'am Murphy, what do you think about the current state of politics in the Commonwealth? You're tied to this place. It seems like everyone is fighting for power, and it's causing a lot of chaos and suffering for the people. Gun politics has always been a dirty game. But in times like these, it's even more dangerous. People are desperate, and they'll do anything to get what they want. We just have to be careful and watch our backs. I agree, Mama Murphy. It's a tough world out there, and we have to be strong and vigilant. 
But I also believe that there's hope. If we can find a way to work together and put the needs of the people first, we can make a difference. That's the spirit, John. We can't let the darkness consume us. We have to hold on to the light and keep fighting for what's right. Together, we can make a difference. You're tied to this place. Thank you, Mama Murphy. Your words mean a lot to me. Let's keep moving forward, hand in hand. June and Mama Murphy, tell me what you think of Joe Biden. Joe Biden, I don't know much about him, to be honest. I've been focused on more immediate concerns, like survival and protecting our group. But from what I've heard, he seems like a decent man. He's been in politics for a long time, and he's got a lot of experience. Whether or not that makes him a good leader is another matter. We'll have to wait and see. June, That's what? a fair assessment, Mama Murphy. It's hard to know for sure what kind of leader someone will be until they're in office. But I hope that he can bring some stability and progress to the Commonwealth. We need it more than ever. Agreed, John. We need strong, capable leaders who can guide us through these difficult times. Let's just hope that Joe Biden is up to the task. June and Mama Murphy, tell me your experiences with Death Claws. Death Paws is a place we stumbled upon by accident, Mama Murphy. It's a small community hidden away in the wilderness, and they seem to have found a way to survive without getting involved in the conflicts that are tearing apart the rest of the world. They're a peaceful community, and they welcome outsiders as long as we respect their way of life. I must say, it's been a refreshing change of pace from the chaos and violence we've been dealing with for so long. I can't see why John finds Death Claws appealing, dear. No, no, Death it's a Claws. Place where people can just lie their lives in peace and quiet, away from the dangers of the outside world. Tell me what you guys think of Death Claws. Of course, there's always the danger of running into raiders or other hostiles when you're far from civilization, but I believe that's a risk worth taking if it means finding some semblance of safety and tranquility. The community seems genuine in their desire to remain neutral and stay out of conflicts, and that's something we could all benefit from in these turbulent times. June and Mama Murphy, tell me about Death Claws. Death Claws is something that's been bothering me ever since we left Quincy, John. It's this idea that if we die, everything we've worked for, all the progress we've made, it all goes to waste. That our deaths would be meaningless and that we've accomplished nothing in the end. It's a daunting thought, and it's given me a newfound appreciation for perspective on life and death. We can't let the fear of death control our lives or dictate our actions. All we can do is make the most of the time we have and try to make the world a better place while we're here. And when our time comes, we'll face it with courage and grace. That's all we can hope for. Ma'am Murphy, you're right. We can't let the fear of death define us or control our actions. We have to live our lives to the fullest, no matter how uncertain the future may be. Goodbye, June. And Goodbye, Mama Murphy. Murphy. I may not be perfect. It's still something. Goodbye. Safe travels. Goodbye, Mama Murphy.